Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. My name is Abhishek. Today's topic is steganography. What is steganography? I would like to tell you one thing. I have already uploaded this lecture in Hindi. If you want to see this in Hindi, I have already uploaded it. On the request of my subscribers, I am making this new channel and all the videos you will get here in English, right? So if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Now let's start. What is steganography? Basically, cryptography and steganography both are completely different things, right? But in steganography and as well as in cryptography, what is happening is these are both the methods of providing security to our information. Okay, we just want that our information should be secure when we are sending it. So that is the reason we are using steganography and cryptography, but both of them are different. Now, what is the basic idea of steganography, guys? Basic idea behind steganography is that when we are sending the information, we will send it by hiding the information, right? So that is why the basic idea of overall steganography is based on information hiding or we can say covered writing as well, okay? And now if we see the definition, guys, we can say it is the practice of concealing that is hiding, okay? Concealing and hiding are the same things. It is a practice of hiding the messages or files or image or any other data. It can be any type of information within another file, message or image or video, okay? So what we are doing is, we are sending the data from one person to another person how we are embedding the secret message or any secret information into the source file and when we are sending it to the destination that is the receiver the attacker in between he or she will not be able to know that yes some data is being shared how suppose for an example if there is a sender and there is a receiver okay and if i am sending file this file from this user to this user and what we are doing is we are embedding a secret message inside this file. Suppose there's uh, this is a picture of a person, okay? And we are sending this picture of a person to this per receiver. And suppose there's an attacker in between, okay? When we are sending this image from this to this person, what is happening is guys, we are sending the image as well as we are embedding a special message inside it, okay? And when we are sending, this attacker will be able to see this image, but he or she will not be able to know that, yes, there is a secret message inside it. Why is it so? Because anybody can see this image but the physical uh, appearance of this image will not change right when we will embed the message we will not be able to see that yes there are some changes inside the image so this is the technique of steganography that when the attacker will also see this image he will also see the image as it is he will not be able to see some changes in this image if this is the image of uh, your friend and when we are sending it to another friend this image will look as it is to the attacker as well okay he will not be able to know that yes some embedded message is there inside this and therefore he will uh, not be able to misuse our information right so that is the concept of steganography it is the practice of hiding the information it can be message audio file any image or anything okay it can be any information so we are hiding the information and we are sending the information to the destination and later on when we will uh, reach the destination okay when it will receive the receiver receiver will extract all at its destination right so this is the basic concept behind steganography what is this k1 k2 don't uh, see this i'll explain you this example now let us see an example so guys let us take a physical example of steganography what do i mean by physical example guys in the older days when there was no internet and nothing was there so these steganography concept was used to happen in physical formats also in physical ways also right for an example let us consider an example suppose there are two kings of the different kingdoms right there's a king one and there's a king two. Suppose they are friends and there's a deal, some deal in between them that uh, after few months, after two months, I'll send a person to you, okay? This king one says to king two, after two months, I'll send a person to you and he will convey you my secret message and then afterwards, suppose uh, if some things needs to be happened, then only he can do that thing, right? Then only he can uh, do that particular thing. So how will this king two come to know that yes, this person who will come and give him the message is his follower or not right that this person is being sent by the king one or not so what we will do is king one will uh, send a person suppose this is the person he will send that person so what they will do is he will tell king two already that yes you will get a message by a person who will have this type of sign on his head right so this is the deal in between them okay now what will happen is this king will tell the secret message to this particular person to his messenger right and guys he this king will ask this person to get bald that is uh, to shave his hairs right and he will uh, make this sort of symbol on his head suppose for an example now when he'll go for from his kingdom to his kingdom that is the second king's kingdom what will happen is suppose there is journey of long journey of 30 days because in the previous days there was no 
मीन्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन राइट पीपल यूज टू गो बाय वॉकिंग और बाय हॉर्सेज सो दैट इज द रीजन सपोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट विल टेक थर्टी डेज फॉर दिस पर्सन टू कन्वे द मैसेज ऑफ दिस किंग to this person so when he will reach this kingdom suppose in 30 days he reached there right in 30 days so uh, in this span of 30 days on his uh, head hairs will grow right so nobody will be able to see this particular sign on his head because he is uh, now having hairs on his head right so now when he will reach here king 2 will uh, again ask him to shave his head in order to prove that yes you are the person who is being sent by king 1 because he will be having this sign on his head right and when uh, this sign is found on his head okay then this king will consider him that yes he is the right person who is being sent by my friend king one okay then only uh, he will perform his actions what he was supposed to do okay so this is the scenario in this way stenography used to happen in the previous days right this was just an example okay this used to happen you can uh, read it on wikipedia also now guys let us see some more things about stenography but one thing uh, in this example which i gave you sender and receiver this is the same example uh, i have written over here there the sender and receiver we are sending a image and we have embedded a special message inside it okay and the attacker if we will see the image he will not be able to know that yes some secret message is there and he will see just the same image of this particular person so that's why he will not know that some information is being conveyed from sender a to sender b so he will not be able to misuse that information okay this is what we call as stenography and we are hiding the information okay now friends in stenography if we see it is derived from two greek words stignos and graphia right stignos what we do we mean by this word we means covered or concealed that is hidden right and what is graphia it means writing so it is hidden writing or concealed writing okay now i have already told you that stignography is completely different from cryptography okay what is cryptography guys in cryptography uh, if you have watched my videos you might be knowing it i have already uploaded the lectures in hindi and now i'll be uploading in english also okay so what is happening in cryptography suppose you have a message which we call as plain text we are converting this message using some algorithms guys into a unreadable format and this is called cipher text okay so that if attacker attacks in between he will not be able to misuse our information if he wants to misuse our information or he wants to steal our information what he supposed to do is he will have to uh, convert this unreadable data into the readable data and how he will convert the unreadable data to readable data by using some tricks by using some algorithm so okay he will try to use some brute force attack technique or some other technique okay for the time being if you don't know what is brute force attack technique don't worry we'll cover them in the later videos but that's simple scenario is in cryptography we are taking a normal message we are applying some algorithms and we are converting it into a unreadable format which is what we call as a cipher text okay and in stenography guys we are embedding the secret message inside this message only and we are uh, sending the data over the internet okay so this is the scenario so guys in stenography our goal is to send the information by hiding okay we are using the concept of hidden writing and in cryptography we are sending the message by converting it into some unreadable format okay in cryptography guys the attacker will be able to see the unreadable format okay and in stenography the attacker will be able to the, see the same data okay he will not be able to know that yes some message is already embedded in inside this image so this is the scenario and how they are different we have already discussed this now guys if we want to achieve better security now let us see how we'll be able to achieve better security if we'll use both stenography plus cryptography we'll have better security how now let us see that suppose for an example i have already told you that in cryptography what we are doing is we are converting a normal message into a unreadable format which is called cipher text okay using some algorithms so if a attacker wants to attack and if he wants to steal our information what he is supposed to do he should convert this unreadable data into a readable data so this will take time okay and this is a very tough task because we are having a lot of uh, good algorithms like id algorithm is there aes uh, advanced encryption standard it is a very good algorithm and there are a lot of algorithms so if we use this concept cryptography plus stenography what is happening in stenography suppose guys if i want to send my password to some friend suppose this friend okay this is my friend and i am sending my password to this friend so what i will do is i'll use stenography so that Uh, i'll embed my password into this image suppose this is a image i'll embed my password into the image and attacker will not be able to know that yes i am sending some data that is my password from person a to person b but suppose for an example by any means the attacker comes to know that yes he is sending his password i'll steal his password and he wants to misuse my data now what will happen is so what we'll do we'll apply cryptography also that is i will not send my data i'll not share my data in normal format first of all i'll convert my message into a unreadable format so that if anybody sees that message also he'll not be able to uh, see the data that is i'll encrypt my information right then guys after converting my password into a encrypted format that is a unreadable format 
I'll embed that password into this image and then afterwards if our attacker sees uh, this image also and if he come to know that yes he is sending his password if he will be able to fetch that password also that is my secret information is being fetched by the attacker also then he will have to do some extra task what he needs to decrypt the information okay then only he'll be able to see my password but if he don't know how to do decryption of the text then he will not be able to see my password so using both the technologies technography plus cryptography we will have better security okay so using both together we can improve the security of the protected data that is the information and prevent the detection of the secret communication this is what i have written over here now guys in cryptography we make the data unreadable i have told you this a lot of times in this video and in stenography guys we are hiding the existence of the data okay this is important now guys let us see various forms of stenography there are majorly four types of stenography right that is text stenography audio video stenography and image stenography what we are doing is guys we are hiding the data inside these files right for example if we are having image stenography we are hiding the data in the image file if we have video stenography we are hiding the information in videos we are in this we are hiding the information in the audios and in text stenography we are hiding our valuable information that is our secret information inside the text right so these are the various forms of stenography and how these are achieved guys that is another scenario right for the time being we are just seeing there are various types of stenography and these are the four types of stenography okay we'll see them later in detail in maybe in some another video right now in short if i talk stenography what is stenography we are just hiding the information okay by using another information so in short stenography can be used to hide the information of any digital content okay you can hide any audio any video and any text image etc so this was the concept of stenography and how do we achieve stenography guys we are having various types of uh, techniques and one of them is least significant bit technique lsb technique okay you can also search on internet if you want lsb stenography so what we are doing is in this technique uh, i'm just telling you in rough right for so that you can get a rough idea suppose you have a image and in image you have pixels right and suppose it, this pixel is of 1 byte for an example and 1 byte means 8 bits so what we will do is we will have 8 bits and we'll just convert the last bit okay 8 bits are suppose for an example we have 11110000 so what we will do is we'll just convert the last bit we'll change the last bit of each or any number of uh, pixels so that we can get our stenography concept done right so that we can hide the information because if we will change only one bit there will be no uh, major difference in your picture right so that is the reason we can also use the concept of lsb least significant bit cryptography so yeah that's it from this video guys if you like the video please click on the thumbs up button and do subscribe to my youtube channel on this channel you will get all the content in english and if you want to learn in hindi uh, you can subscribe to my channel abhishek sharma you can search okay or you can search abhishek dad you will also get the link in the description